Now, the United States Treasury Department has sanctioned 16 companies over alleged money laundering and terrorism financing. Among the companies sanctioned is Crown Buses, which operates in Kenya, while others are Dubai-based companies. Now, the 16 institutions have been listed as part of an expansive business network that cuts across the Horn of Africa, the United Arab Emirates and Cyprus, raising laundering funds and for, rather, the al-Qaeda-affiliated terrorist formation al-Shabaab. Well, U.S. Treasury says Kenya-based Faisal Yusuf Dini, working closely with Mohammed Jumali Ali Awale, are al-Shabaab financial facilitators, leveraging on the Halil Group and some of its leadership to transfer funds on behalf of al-Shabaab. Seth Olale reports. Kenan-based Crown Bus Services booking offices in Nairobi remained shut until midday. Only the parcel section started operating in the afternoon. Similar scenes were witnessed at the company's booking offices in Mombasa, where there was more activity at the parcels unit compared to the passengers section. Crown Bus Services is among two Kenya-based individuals and 16 entities flagged by the U.S. over allegedly links to a multinational business network that generates and launders funds for the Al-Shabaab terrorist group. According to the U.S. Department of the Treasury's Office of Foreign Assets Control, Crown Bus Services has been used to support Al-Shabaab's logistical operations. The U.S.-based Department of the Treasury's Office of Foreign Assets Control has identified Faisal Yusuf Dini as an Al-Shabaab financial facilitator who leverages Halil Group and some of its leadership to transfer funds on behalf of the Al-Qaeda-affiliated terror group. According to the U.S. federal government agency, OFAC, Dini operates closely with Mohamed Jumale Ali Awale, also based in Kenya, to plan investment projects and money laundering activities, which includes managing Al-Shabaab funds laundered through investment projects and companies, including Kenya-based Crown Bus Services. According to the U.S. Intel, Dubai-based Halil Commodities LLC, also known as Halil Group, is allegedly the epicenter of the laundering network implicated as a key financier of the terror group. U.S. Department of the Treasury's Office of Foreign Assets Control says Halil Commodities relies on the leaders of the company and the Halil Group as well as its branches and subsidiaries in Somalia, Kenya, Uganda and Cyprus to generate and launder funds. Other alleged Al-Shabaab financiers include UAE-based Kimat Al-Najjar General Trading, Hassan Abidaram Mohammed, a Finland-based Somali citizen, Fahan Hussein Haider, who allegedly directs and manages Halil Group's branches in Kenya, Uganda, Cyprus and the UAE, and Abdul Kadir Omar Abdullahi, who is associated with Halil Group's Uganda branch, along with Omar Sheikh Ali Hilol and Haida. As a result of the sanctions, it has been declared that all property and financial interests in the U.S., belonging to the designated individuals and entities, be frozen and prohibited from transactions. The Treasury warned that those continuing to conduct transactions with the sanctioned parties could face potential secondary sanctions. The Kenyan government has remained mum on the issue. Seth Olale,